Hi there and welcome to a new video in which we are going to be checking out this amazing AI tool called God Mode, okay, uh, which for example has an AI sprite generator and as you can see by just following three very simple steps, uploading an image, selecting actions and getting the sprites, okay, you will basically be able to animate a uh, one sprite okay so for example here this sprite was uploaded and all these animations have been generated so it's very very amazing here we can see the actual examples this is the panda they have uploaded and these are all the animations that have been generated with just this sprite frame over here uh here we have a ninja as well um it's even able to generate isometric view and as you can see, it has a lot of features, a lot of amazing stuff that you can uh, use in order to take your animation, okay, uh, to the next level, okay, to create AI animations uh, very, very easily. You can also check here some some stuff that the community that is using this AI tool uh, uh, is been doing, okay. Um, so of course, one of the main usages of this tool is to create our own uh, spreadsheets uh, for our uh, games okay so that's exactly what we are going to be doing in this video and by the way god mode ai itself has like dozens of tools here that we could check out but specifically in this video we're gonna be focusing on the a sprite on the ai sprite generator okay uh so that so once that we have specifically understood all this we can start okay uh so in this case i'm gonna uh, click here it says start creating uh, sprites and okay, I'm gonna uh, press over here, okay? And here I have three images that I have generated, okay? Of a player, a monster, and a coin. So first of all, I will start off with the player, okay? And I want to have um, some animation, okay? Uh, going on, okay? So it says here, ready for sprite generation. Once this is done, okay, you have to scroll down a little bit. And here you have to set up just a few things. So first is the view type. If you either want to make to be isometric or side scrolling, usually for uh, these kind of things, okay, you don't really want isometric views. Well, you could definitely create an isometric game, but they are not 100% like super popular. Usually what we want to create is something maybe more like this, okay, for a platformer, but you know, you can create whatever you want. And here we can go ahead and select the ones that we want. So for example, let's select walking looping, okay? And here we have it selected, okay? Um, and let's, for example, also select this one. Now also, if we basically continue scrolling down, you will see here some tips and guide. So, uh, for example, it's very important for you to, uh, whenever you want to upload the image, that it is like in the idle pose or basically in the start pose. So you shouldn't be uh, uploading any kind of these frames over here. It should be something similar to this or to what I have uploaded over here. And here, basically, then you have more settings, okay? Uh, so for example, we can uh, specify a positive and a negative prompt. So basically, the positive prompt is specifically what you want to have some details, basically. Some negative prompt is some stuff that you uh, don't really want to include in your generation, okay? And also, for example, here, something very important for game development, looping, okay? So that uh, we can loop then the animation in the engine. And once all this is set up as you want, just press generate animation and let's wait a couple of seconds. Now, for example, here I have this pop up. Uh, so we have repose your image to make it more suitable for generating and the, well, the animations that we have selected. Okay, so this was the original image and this is the auto repost image. And it's very amazing how from this image it was able to repose it to this. So if this is okay, we can uh, go ahead and continue. So, for example, here you can continue uh, with the uh, auto repost image. You can retry to auto response. You can uh, either just use the original image, but uh, usually the best thing will be just to use the auto repost image. Okay. Um, so, if this looks good, okay, just uh, select continue with auto repost image. Let's click over there. And now let's wait. And well, here is the animation that it has generated. It's Amazing, okay, how we we went from a 100% aesthetic image, okay, from this to this in a matter of seconds, and I didn't have to do literally anything. Now, let's say that you didn't like the result, you can select here edit or partial regenerate, and well, here you can see all the frames that the AI has generated, and for example, you can select, I don't know, I don't like 17 and 18, okay, and you can see it, okay, change this, change that, and regenerate wherever you want, okay? So that's really 
something very, very, very amazing. Now, what you can do is go over here, okay, and download Sprite Sheet, okay? So, this will give you, indeed, okay, the actual Sprite Sheet that then we can use. But, as you can see, this Sprite Sheet has the background and, uh, and I will, you can directly use this image and remove the background on Photoshop, for example, and make the frames be a little bit closer to each other also in the engine, but you can actually directly do it inside here. So, you can click over here on the arrow again. Transparent background, okay, and and uh, uh, extract bounding boxes. So here you have the spreadsheet that it has generated, and basically you have like different models that you can select as well as adjusting the background removal sensitivity. The more sensitivity you have, the more uh, it's gonna try to remove, but also it gonna it can affect uh, the character or the objects that the, there are. As here the background is gray, okay, and the night is also kind of gray. I will adjust it just a little bit, maybe 2.8 or something like that. And uh, for the model itself here, um, I will just uh, leave the default one, okay? Um, so now let's press process buttons and you can directly do it in Photoshop or wherever you really want. So let's press over here. And okay, here we have it, okay? So uh, as you can see, now we don't have the background. We have a slight, slight, slight problem at the very end of the animation. That it seems that it has kind of removed the sword a little bit. So let's check it like right over here. There's, I believe it's just one frame that hasn't been cut off correctly. But here the sprite sheet, it doesn't see. Yes, it's this frame over here. So yes, indeed, uh, uh, once again, it's just a matter of reducing the uh, sensitivity over here. Maybe we can go with something like 0.6, okay? And you can press process again and it's gonna do the exact same again but once again if we just want to um clean up the background it's gonna be way faster and way easier uh, to just directly do it in photoshop for example so once again what i want to do over here is press right here on the arrow um download sprite sheet i'm gonna right click here i'm gonna save this image right over here and here okay using the uh eraser okay you can use the um, magic eraser tool okay select the tolerance maybe something very low something like that and as you can see this is done and also right here okay and it's gonna literally do the exact same thing and a little bit faster okay uh the important thing here that we've done in god mode is that everything is nicely separated so then in the engine what we want to do is to cut each of these frames perfectly okay so that everything uh, fits nicely okay um so once it's done i will just uh, save it over here i'll call it a uh, player sheet okay uh and here I have a, a go to the project okay that i have set up and what i want to do is grab the player sheet okay import it right over here okay let's give it a second i'm gonna create a new images folder i'm gonna drop these two images right inside then what I want to do here using an, an animated sprite to the node and once I have created the sprite frames I want to use this button here to add frames from the sprite sheet of course I want to select the player sheet and here I will have to slice it so what I've done here is I counted the rows and columns so I have four horizontals so one two three four and then I have one two three four five six seven eight vertical and as you can see here code can automatically cut them all out okay so this is the um this was the attack animation or i think everything is inside of the same sheet so let me actually open it here so that we identify here the frames uh no everything is the attack animation right here okay i think i i, I didn't select the the run animation uh, that's why i don't have it here uh so let's go over here player sheet okay let's zoom out a little bit and i'm gonna select all these frames right over here of course you have to do it in order so let's go like this actually select all and then i'm gonna deselect these ones and there we go at 29 frames and now the cool thing is that we can play this animation and here it is but it's super slow so let's make it maybe make it 20 frames per second okay yeah there we go <laughs> and there we have our night it's really really amazing and as you can see it doesn't look weird it doesn't look ai made it's really really amazing and yes indeed what i'm checking over here is that i did not select 
the uh, walking looping okay animation so i will select it over here okay and i will do the exact same thing because in reality you can only do a uh, one generation at a time so let's select running looping i will scroll down here a little bit okay here we have already done all these and now we'll scroll down a little bit and press auto repos and generate animation and by the way here you have your recent generation so we have the stab animation here that we have uh, created so let's select it over here and basically we'll have to follow the exact same steps okay and also by the way reusing some of these frames okay exactly uh, i think it was these four or no these four over here <laughs> i've actually wanted to also create some kind of idle animation so that's also very very cool here i have this one so let's click over here download sprite sheet let's give it a second now that we have it let's right click save image as i will save it here here i have it in photoshop let me remove the background everything seems good i'll call this one layer layer running sheet Okay, and I will directly import it inside of Codot, player running. Okay. I'll create a new animation. Run. I will import it from frames. Running. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry, four, five, six, seven, and seven, sorry, seven vertical and horizontally one two three four okay so here it is that's cool let's select all these frames so select all yes but the order is not correct so select none select all there we got it and here we have it let's make them way faster so something like 20 frames per second should be way better yes even a little bit faster maybe 30 yeah that's cool okay yeah that's very very cool and if you see these lines over here that is because i think photoshop yeah in some frames in this case i didn't really remove 100 percent perfectly the background so let's increase a little bit the tolerance so that it actually removes the background a little bit more and here it seems that it was done way better so let me replace it so player running sheet yes there it is play running sheet let's write it right now let's put it over here and there it is and you can see now it's way better we can still fine tune some of these frames i believe there's one or two frames that have the the problem of the background but you know it's just a matter of going right here and erasing them where they are so it's not really a big deal because the the cool thing is already here now also here in the idle i'm gonna increase a little bit the animation speed not that much maybe 10 hmm, a little bit less there it is. Of course, we don't have that many frames, but I think it does work. Let's uh, make it the autoplay on load animation so that we start on this one. Okay. And here I have created a very simple controller. Okay. In which, as you can see, uh, I can uh, move around. I can also attack. And okay, depending on what ha what is happening on the game. For example, I am moving here. Uh, I can attack. Okay. And I can also come back to idle okay so that's very very cool basically i've created uh, very simple enemies okay as well as some coins and using all this logic this is the final result so as you can see i can basically kill these enemies with the sword okay using the attack animation okay and i can also go ahead and collect these coins okay so it's very very amazing let's see it again let me actually reduce the enemy's speed for just a second so maybe 100 and you'll see that for example, let's kill this guy let's kill this other guy let's kill these other guys so it's very very amazing okay um so this is all that i wanted uh, to mention in this video so i do definitely think this is one of those ai tools that you will start using right away so make sure you do so using the link in the description down below See you and bye bye.